हेलो एवरीवन अस्सलाम वालेकुम दिस इज अब्बास हुसैन विद यू टुडे वी हैव सेशन टू ऑन आवर ऑन गोइंग सीरीज व्हिच इज रेड हैट आर सी ई एक्स टू नाइन फोर बी नाइन एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन सो इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो व्हाट वी हैव डन वी हैव डन हाउ टू क्रिएट आर एच एन आर रेड हैट आई डी देन वी हैव covered how to download iso image from red hat portal or developers.redhat.com and we have downloaded two images one is rhel 9.0 and second one was 9.3 and the uh, in that session we have also covered if you are using like this i have my system here on this system i have just installed one hypervisor to do my labs or virtual working which is uh, vmware workstation but sometime uh, some students doing some mistakes like they are first installing vmware workstation or maybe they are using uh, microsoft hyper v or maybe they are using oracle, oracle virtual box and if they are seeing my videos or you are here you are watching my videos so what will happen you will see oh uh, sir boss just telling us to install vmware workstation so we will install that application and we will work on that application in that case you might have to face some problems like when you are uh, power on uh, doing power on one virtual machine it might give you some problem not to work because you have already enabled one hypervisor in your system so to avoid such issues i am just telling you or uh, just uh, giving you uh, a small tiny warning that you might have to face some issues but it's not essential you will always have to face the issue it might possible so try to have one uh, uh virtualization software you are work if you are good with the vmware workstation that's fine for me i am good with vmware workstation from last few years i am using this one but i also have grip on vmware uh, oracle virtual box so if you are using that that's fine or if you are using any else solution that's good so in the labs that i am going to uh, solve regarding the rce exam i will use vmware workstation so it's your choice which one you wanted to use you can use so uh, let's uh, i just wanted to show you how to install it i have shown that before but now i will show you again from scratch so here is a vm pro of windows 11 i will just start it i have already installed windows 11 in this virtual machine and on this virtual machine we will try to install vmware workstation from scratch so at least you must have idea uh how to install or what will happen when you will start to install the vmware workstation so let's go to on the directory structure of the system this pc and here in d drive i have the software vmware workstation i also have uh, virtual box but i also have vmware workstation so in this machine i am just going to install vmware workstation so i have to wait for that it will ask uac user account control so i will click yes show more details i can change this notification from here it's okay and now i can do yes so later on when uh, i will install some other software it will not ask me again to choose uac what okay i think installer is not started yet so i have to click it again 
maybe that is in okay it just started here you can see it's starting it's tiny small because uh, i am using vm within vm so that's the reason it's taking some time now this time i have vmware workstation pro 16 maybe you can use latest version of this software next just accept next uh, you can also install this driver if you need otherwise don't need just go with default and check this check the product updates on this startup let's move and don't join this user experience because i'm not using the latest one okay if you wanted to use uh, check it you can do that in my case i'm not checking it and just installing it. so this is the uh, these are the steps to install vmware workstation in your system during the installation just go to your control panel and go to network and sharing change adapter and you will see only one adapter and one bluetooth and one ethernet adapter is available here but after the installation of vmware workstation you will see some of other network adapters here so basically in this session what i want to uh, uh, tell you i also wanted to tell you something about vmware workstation so at least you can have a good idea on this software You, so you can see an other adapter there are two three other adapters installed and here it's showing the adapter installation method uh, sequence so finally vmware workstation is installed from license you can put the license keys and you can register this for the permanent use i'm just so i have put so i have put the keys and just finish it now it's asking to restart the system once okay so i will restart okay so finally i restart my system and now I will again open VMware Workstation. So this will be the first interface when you will open the VMware Workstation. A thing that uh, I always love to uh, work with the VMware Workstation is that when you will go to edit, here is the option virtual network editor. Just open it and here you will click on change settings okay uh, one note that i will uh, recommend if you are a normal user you don't want to go into details you don't need to do such things you just install the vmware and just start your work so this thing that i am telling now it's uh, for the advanced users so you will see it's auto bridging with external connection which is my external connection now this time it will coming towards my wi-fi to the and then it's bridging to my wi-fi my laptop wi-fi okay a second one is the host only so you know when you click on your know, virtual machine and let's say click next and let's say linux ubuntu and just okay and okay so when you customize you will see a network adapter option here are three options four bridge network then net then host only so this network 
what does it mean host only it's mean if you are creating some virtual machines like this and now i'm going to create another virtual machine next 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 this is the second virtual machine and let's say i am creating i i'm creating several virtual machines like this i have created third one so if i want this virtual machine will communicate to this virtual machine this virtual machine and these virtual machines can connect to this virtual uh, this virtual machine through the network but these virtual machines cannot connect to external internet like internet like my own network then this setting will work this host only a private network shared with the host so this system this windows 11 system is my host and within this host if i am creating two or three or four or 20 virtual machines that work, uh, virtual machines will communicate to each other within the host but outside the host it will not communicate to any virtual machine so this option tells this and second option uh, which is default which is net net means if uh, your central system is acting like a router okay so like this uh, if you can see this windows uh, 11 machine is a virtual machine and if you can see <laughs> set adapter it's a net so when i click on uh, its uh, uh, browser and i wanted to see something like i wanted to open google.com you will see google.com is opening so i am able to communicate to my uh, internet and even it can communicate to my local network as well you see here like this so net is okay for that and third option is that if you wanted like this machine but in the case of net for example uh let's say i i'm typing here ip config you will see uh, what is the ip of this system this 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 ip okay from where it's it is coming 192.168.31.136 so that is the thing that i wanted to tell you it's coming from here at somewhere this one you can see net and it's starting from 192.168.31.0 okay and you can see it's the same subnet and if you are going to connect host only then you will find this ip and if you are going to connect with the physical network like this like this then you have to give your own network subnet type okay these are the three things but if you wanted to have a custom ip here that's fine in that case what you need to do you just need to open the vmware workstation first you have to turn off all the virtual machines then you have to go to uh, virtual network configuration here go to change the settings then you have all the settings and here you can see vm net one is the adapter and here is the range okay so in net let's say i wanted to uh, give some other range you know you see you can see this this range let's say i i just wanted to give oh sorry change settings let's say i wanted to say 
my machines will get ip v uh, class b ip let's say from here at subnet mask will be this or you can say this or you can say okay this one or you can say okay this one apply uh, the ip and okay then i have to give zero zero and it will apply okay it's starting vm bare virtual network service now when you will create vms through this uh, virtual uh, through, uh, through this VM, uh, vmware workstation what will happen the ip's range will be this one 172.160.1.0.2.0.3 and when it will complete to 254 then it will start again 1.1.1.2 1.3 and so on so this is the default setting even you can change host only adapter you can see the settings from here you can you can change you can add a new network adapter okay so you can remove and you can add let's say vm net 2 and 3 so this is the beauty of this setting i'm not changing in anything that i just wanted to told you how you can play with the vmware workstation so that's fine for me uh i'm not going to into this detail but i have installed vmware workstation this is done with advanced uh features that i have shown you okay i think now you are able to understand what i wanted to tell you now come to the this notepad i have changed something in this uh, first we have seen rhn id then download the iso image then a red hat developer subscription this is a thing that I want to, to share with you. Uh, maybe in next video we'll see. Uh, for this we, uh, session, uh, okay. Uh, let's meet in the next session. Thank you.